Hey y'all, welcome back to Chimney Creek Acres. So we had something pretty exciting that happened here on the farm last night. Let you uh, take a look and see. We got a couple new babies here. Yeah. They're so cute when they're drinking. They just sit there and wag their tails. <laughs> Well, you did a good job a little bit, being a good little mommy. So this is all the little lambs care about, is just sitting here, being with mommy, eating and sleeping. That's all they're gonna do for the first week or so. But then after that, they're gonna start moving around a whole lot more, getting a little bit further away from mommy and exploring. Say hey. So these little guys, they're both boys. They are one day old now. They were born last night. And just gonna go over quickly uh, what we did for them last night is basically um, she had them up in a run-in shelter. Uh, right when I got home, she gave birth to them. Um, I got up there and was able to pick them up. I tried to get them into the barn, have her follow. Uh, she didn't want to follow. She wanted me to keep them right where she had them at. But we had all this cold and rain coming in. Um, tomorrow it's supposed to get down into the teens. So it's supposed to be rainy, sleet, snow. So we need to get them in the barn. So basically what I did is I just walked them in here, put them down, shut the gate, went back and got her feed. Uh, by the time I got back up here, she was at the gate waiting to go in. I toss the feed inside, open up the gate, and she walked right in. So it was super easy. Um, she finished cleaning them off. Uh, they're still a little dirty, but not too bad. Uh, what we did is we gave them vitamin B. Um, it's called Survive is the one we used, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. Uh, we gave them five cc's each. Um, just put the little drip inside their mouth and slowly squirted it in there and had them drink it. Smells like oranges, tastes great to them, so they drink it right up. Um, that gives them a boost of energy and gives them a little kickstart on life. And uh, another thing that we wanted to do, but I was out of syringes, so I gotta go up to the store, go get some syringes. We're gonna give them um, a half cc of CDT. And we're gonna do that in stages, but this will be their first stage. I try to do it on um, their first day of life and um, so I got to go up to the store and go get the syringes. But then we got um, iodine and we dipped their biblical cord and then we also clipped it. So you can see it right there. Keep any infection from uh, getting in there and getting them sick. And uh, checked their airway, make sure they're breathing, making noise. Yeah, just like that. And they're doing really, really good. They're walking around. They were feeding right away. Um, so that's super good. You wanna make sure that they're all feeding. And uh, yeah, and basically they just stay with mommy and do well. Here, I'll get this other one. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. So they're all doing good. Say hey. <laughs> And little bit's doing very well being a mommy. This is her first time being a mommy. Uh, Rosie, last year, when she had babies, her first time, she got triplets. But Rosie just had uh, twins, which I'm totally fine with. More the merrier. And everyone's healthy and doing well. And this is her barn area. Say hey. Hey. So I got a little creek gate right now. They can go in and out, but of course, they want to stay with mommy right now. And, uh, yeah, but eventually here next week, they'll start to wander around a little bit more. So we'll be going in and out. All right, y'all. So we're about to get this one. It's shot of CDT. It's a vaccine that we give to our sheep and we're going to do it in stages for them. Um, this is going to be a half CC. So basically I have it loaded up right here in the syringe. It's ready to go. And it's going to be a subcutaneous shot, which is just under the skin. So it's gonna be a little hard to see here, but basically what I do is I pinch the skin, I pull it up, 
make a little tent with the skin, and then that's where I pop the needle into. So you pop it into the skin, but not all the way through to the other side, of course, because then you'd be shooting the liquid out <laughs> the other side and not going in. So you just pop it into the skin and then go down with it. I got the needle. Yep. There we go. Yes, I know. I know. I know it. I know it. Back up. This is so sharp. All right. So we're going to clean the area that we're going to put it in. So I got a little cotton ball with some alcohol. We're just going to rub it up. All right. So right there is where we're going to put it. Okay. <laughs> I know what. All right. Oh, you jumpy. You jumpy pants. <laughs> And then after I give it to him, I just rub that area where I put it, massage it in. All right, y'all. I want to go over real quick uh, what exactly we used on the animals out there as far as the lambs go. So these right here are the bands that we put around their biblical cord. And they just come in a packet. And I uh, got them from Premier One. Um, not sponsored by them or anyone else or anything like that. That's just what we use. So get those clipped off. This here is our CDT. You can pick it up at any feed store. Um, like I said, we give it to them in stages. Their first stage is at birth. Um, it's half a CC and it's going to be subcutaneous uh, right underneath the skin. This here is the survive that I was talking about. This is going to be your vitamin B. Um, it's really good to keep around on the farm. Uh, especially if you have sheep, uh, good for lambs or just sick sheep in general, you know, gives them a boost of energy, um, might help push them through if something's going on with them. And then this here is our iodine and that's what we, uh, dip the biblical cord in before we clip it off and kill off any bacteria that might be in that area. Um, so that's basically it. Um, here in a couple weeks, we're gonna be banding both the lambs since they're both males and we don't need any extra rams around here. Uh, we'll be banding those and uh, take you out and show you that when it comes around. <laughs> All right, y'all, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video here at the farm. <laughs> Got to see our new babies and mama taking care of them. So until next time, God bless. <laughs>